Hello everyone. Once again, welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendr Singh. And today we are going to discuss about very important topic which is about Linux patch management. So usually people are very curious to know what is patch management. So let us clear this particular doubt today. So I have created a machine. I am logged into this machine and uh, I have logged into this machine with EC2 user. First of all, I will switch to my root user because in order to go for patch management, we need to have root privileges, right? So now if I need to check that, what do we need to patch? So guys, first of all, we can check like all the available packages in this particular operating system. So the command to check is like either you can run a command RPM dash QA query for all packages. You can run this particular command. So all the packages which are installed within this operating system, these will get listed here. Or you can run yum list installed. So this will list in the same way, this will list all the packages with yum command. Right? Moreover, you can get to know like how these packages are installed and all. So that sort of information is available with both the package manager tools, whether it is yum or it is RPM. Okay. Now what next? So guys, first of all, we need to check like where from can we get the updates. So guys, there is a particular repository in Red Hat. So let us see first of all that what OS we are using here. So we can see etc OS dash release. So guys, we are using here Red Hat 8.6, right? These are the particular version information here. Now if we need to check the particular repositories etc yum.repos.d and these are the particular repositories which are available here it means where from we can download the packages right so if we know these sort of things which means we are ready to go with upgradation but guys keep this thing in mind whenever you are planning to upgrade your os first of all you need to check that what all packages are going to be upgraded so how do we check like what all upgraded packages are available? So guys, first of all, the particular uh, set of software, set of uh, RPMs which are already, already installed in my operating system. That is one thing. Second thing here is the particular packages which are uh, like, uh, which are supposed to be installed and the particular vendor, let us say it is Ubuntu, Red Hat, Cent OS or maybe any other vendor which has already released a patch for this. For example, there is a vulnerability in any software and uh, that particular that particular software may be vulnerable like someone from outside may try to breach the vulnerability and may try to uh, like uh, try to just uh, bug you with the help of that vulnerability right so what we need to do here is we need to update the package we need to upgrade the package right the particular patch which has been released by vendor we need to uh, patch it we need to upgrade it right so how do we check like what are the particular packages which are going to be upgraded if we run yum update command. So we can run a command yum check hyphen update. If we run this particular command, so guys first of all it is going to check all the repositories. We can list these repositories which are being uh, checked right now. We can run a command yum repo list as well in order to check that. But yes, I knew it that what are the repositories available. So I have just executed yum check update command. So this is going to list what all packages are going to be updated. If I run yum update command. Right guys, one more thing. So in the meanwhile, this particular system is taking its own time. So we need to ensure that we are never supposed to run these commands directly onto any production environment. First of all, we need to do a particular performance testing sanity and like we need to ensure that after upgrading any package, our operating system is not going to like break off like our operating system should be uh, rebootable everything should be working fine after uh, after installing update into our operating system we need to ensure that sort of thing that is why it is always recommended that before updating any package in production environment test it in SIT properly because once we update any package that might bring in some sort of dependency as well right so how do we check the repo list here? Yum. Yum repo list is the command which we can use. So obviously guys, the particular yum has all the repository list in our, uh, in, its, in its case. So what we are going to do now, we will check yum 
update we will run this particular command so guys this is also going to fetch the particular packages which are supposed to be updated so uh, four packages will be installed here and 84 packages are supposed to be upgrade right so what previous version was installed and what current version is available and the particular patch has been released by the vendor itself right so if i hit y here so it will definitely uh, start installing the upgrade, upgrade of the packages after that it will verify that everything has been installed on the operating system right that way so now what we are going to see first of all let this particular transition get completed so it is checking and upgrading installing so every single thing which our operating system has downloaded from internet from the particular repository where our software software remote repository is configured so this is just upgrading it so it will take a while let us wait for let us wait for the time in the meanwhile guys once you run this particular command yum update or maybe apt get update or upgrade whatever command you run right guys so what we need to ensure here is that we need to take a reboot of this operating system because sometimes what happens that after patching an operating system maybe some latest version of kernel is installed right and that kernel is not compatible with the hardware so these sort of issues may occur that is why it is always recommended to take a reboot post installation of your patched packages the particular new version of packages which you have installed so please ensure to reboot your operating system if you do not reboot you may uh, you may invite some sort of like uh, issues in your production environment so that is why it is recommended to patch your sit or your non production environment first so let us wait for a while i am not pausing this video because i really want this video should be like capturing each and every moment of this particular patching activity once you feel that yes it is going to take time so you can skip this particular section you can forward this video because as we need to verify this post like reboot of this server i will perform a couple of more commands in the meanwhile in order to ensure that there is no packages available which are still remaining for upgrade or update right so it means right now we can say that this particular operating system is patched properly because if you see like kernel core 4.18.0 and so and so like this particular package has also been installed right so maybe cleanup process is also going on so everything it is not only installing but it is only it is cleaning up as well like all the unwanted packages it is uh, it is cleaning up so that, uh, like in that particular way we can easily ensure that our system is patched how do we ensure that our system is patched so we are going to run couple of more commands in order to ensure that system is patched and based on that so based on that we are going to ensure that uh, patching activity has been completed and we are ready to ensure, declare that patching activity has been completed so so many people are away, like scared like how do we ensure that system is patched or not so guys this is how this is very easy stuff but yes a little critical as well because we need to take a reboot post updating and installing latest package latest version of the packages right guys so it is taking some time because it is installing kernel version and that takes some some time usually like it happens in production or non production environment as well but guys what you need guys need to ensure here is that the particular steps which you are doing the particular packages which you are doing you need to be aware of it right maybe if you need to roll it back so you can ensure that you are going to take a dump of it you you can take a snapshot of it of your system post that you can update the particular script on your server so like that way you can ensure to patch linux operating system so right now we are working with rsl 8.6 let us wait so i hope the doubts which you, which most of people have like how do you manage patch management and all how do you get updates for the patch management so like we can run a command like yum update and we can obviously like get the output in a particular file we can share that file with our auditors and like uh, the particular governance team the security team that these are the patched available these are the particular packages which we have installed so based on that particular thing you guys will be able to identify and you guys will be in a position to say that yes these were the package which were released from the vendor which are patched and we have updated those right so that way we need to ensure and we need to like uh, generate a report as well that packages has been reboot moreover guys if you need to ensure that uh, like uh, what packages are installed and when 
that particular thing also we will discuss maybe within coming video like how to check the particular installation time of our packages like when the system is patched so that sort of thing we are going to discuss for sure come on don't take that much time so please bear with me guys Of course, as I told you, you can skip this section because it is taking time and uh, these are usual because when we perform these sort of activities in production, we have to be very, very patient. So this is sort of example for the same that we need to be patient while logging into it. Okay, so like what next we are going to do here? So this is running some additional scripts for TUND, SSSD common like micro code control this sort of scripts are getting executed here one more is done yes verifying finally yes thank you so guys if we need to check yum check update if i run this command once again so what it is going to do once again it will fetch the metadata so if you see like uh, is an installed version and this is currently running so which means if you say whenever we are going to reboot the system so guys we need to check these two components here that this is currently running and this is the particular which is installed security update right so if i reboot the system so ideally my system should be uh, like and consuming this particular rpm so let us take a reboot of this operating system reboot and that's it so my connection is closed it means obviously i have set my system for reboot so this in fact this particular component like security kernel core kernel and all so guys whenever we are going to share this particular list like this was currently running and this was this is installed security update right so this will help us verify that yes what sort of thing we have done so let me uh, once again try to log into this operating system Uh oh system is still in reboot state that is that might be coming up that may take a couple of more minutes guys why i'm trying to show you this particular thing off that you should be aware of it that how do we verify the system post reboot that may take a minute or two so please be with the video and with me as well yes thank you we are logged in now okay yum check dash update if we run this command let us see like how many packages are going to be updated what are the particular releases which are released from the vendor side so if there is any it will tell us if there is none then we are done right last metadata expiration check these many minutes ago there is nothing pending yum check update nothing pending Otherwise, if you remember last time with the same command, we were able to find out so many packages which were marked for update, right? So guys, now we can say like our system is update. Our system is patched, right? So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a good time and happy learning. If you have any further queries, please write in comment box. I shall be there to help. Have a good time. Happy learning. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. God bless you all. Thank you.